One of the most important things you can do to help your health and to feel better is to do abdominal breathing. I see a lot of people as, as clients and as patients and as students who are breathing with their chest or their shoulders or their even their neck muscles rather than with their diaphragm. So abdominal breathing means that the big muscle that's a big circular muscle in the middle of your body wall presses down with the inhale. When the diaphragm presses down, it makes your abdomen go forward. If you're breathing into your chest, for instance, that means the smaller muscles, less important muscles, are working hard, like the muscles in the ribs, to pull in the breath. So breathing in your chest is like something like that. Breathing in your shoulders, it's like you're trying to lift your lungs to reach the air. Breathing with your neck muscles, your neck is like that. Now here is an abdominal breath. My breath goes forward, all this relaxes. I get a lot more air that way with a lot less tension. From the side, it looks like this. One way you can practice is just to put your hands on your belly, thumb on the belly button or maybe a little bit higher, push in just a little bit and inhale, making your hands go forward. Exhale, hands go backwards, staying relaxed up here. If you can learn how to do this abdominal breathing, you'll have all kinds of health benefits, including lowered blood pressure if it's too high, you'll have more energy, You'll di you will digest better, digest better, and eliminate better as well. It massages your abdominal organs. Your heart's more relaxed. Your lungs can actually expand more than they would otherwise. And that's just a few of the benefits. You want to practice this abdominal breathing whenever you can. You want to practice at the computer, at your office. You want to practice in the car, in meetings watching TV, if you watch TV, watching YouTube videos, anytime. If you do, you really notice a difference in your health. Abdominal breathing will reduce your stress. Abdominal breathing, however, is often a new habit that takes a lot of practice to learn how to do well. So you use these little stickers. I like these smiley faces because they make me happy. And you put these stickers up on your computer screen, on your PDA, on your speedometer in your car, wherever you can think of, your spouse's forehead, maybe your kids' foreheads. Every time you see the sticker, you take a deep breath. Pretty soon, you've got 100 breaths in in one day without even trying. By the way, remember to have fun with Qigong, which is also the name of my blog, funwithqigong.com, and my first DVD.